military history. It restored full and honorable status to the first black man to graduate from the United States Military Academy 101 years ago. We have the story from Martha Teichner in Thomasville, Georgia. The military flag draped Lieutenant Henry Flipper's casket finally after 94 years. Lieutenant Henry Flipper, who graduated from West Point in 1877, the first black man to do so, was accused of embezzling some $3,700. He was acquitted, but given a dishonorable discharge anyway. He died in 1940 and was buried in an unmarked grave in Atlanta. A white college student from Valdosta, Georgia, Ray McCall, became obsessed with what to him was a crusade to convince the Army a wrong had been done. In 1976, the Army agreed to grant to Lieutenant Henry Flipper's descendants his honorable discharge dated June 30th, 1882. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial of honest and faithful service. Ms. King. The joy comes when we find that wrong has been made right, that justice has overtaken injustice. And when Flipper's family wanted his remains moved from Atlanta to Thomasville, Georgia, to lie next to his parents, the Army agreed to bury him there with full military honors. A mule-drawn caisson carried the casket. A riderless horse was led behind it. Black people and white people walked together to the gravesite. Over a lifetime, Henry Flipper distinguished himself as an author, an engineer, as assistant to the Secretary of the Interior. Last year, West Point established the Lieutenant Flipper Award for Outstanding Black Cadets. The services today were a final salute. Martha Teichner, CBS News, Thomasville, Georgia. That's the news. I'm Bob Schieffer, CBS News, New York.